Good morning guys. Uh, this video I'm going to demonstrate uh, how to uh, use this uh, trade simulator uh, and uh, we use Google to show you like uh, some of the uh, bounces of the 200 period moving average and how we can place trades and uh, then uh, and then we see the trades in that trade log too. So here what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and uh, I think I have uh, quite a bit of data loaded already on this so let's go ahead and pick a date uh, from let's say I wanted to probably simulate it from 2012 January let's say January January 1 uh, January 1 until now and then uh, we have a simulate and I'm just going to show the crosshair the crosshair shows the data uh, the simulate button actually uh, triggers it to go to the, the date what we picked it so this chart automatically scrolls to that date and then starts uh, simulating from there. Uh, we have set the speed to 5. We could probably change it to whatever we want to. And then I have these buys and sells and then I have an, something called a trade log. So the trade log window uh, pops up and then when we place the trades then uh, you can automatically see the trades while you're placing it. So let's just go ahead and uh, simulate it and then we'll see the trades pop up into this window um, showing the, you know, the trades are happening as it actually moves. So let's just go there. So now it's uh, started on now. Um uh, January 1 and it's actually simulating it so now let's say suppose if I if you're uh, uh, for fun let's say suppose if you wanted to go back to uh, the date somewhere uh, here and then let's say suppose if you wanted to place a trade so what we're going to do is we're going to play this and then what then we can, can issue a buy order so now you can see that there is a buy which is placed it here so now let's just see how it's going to work uh, let's say suppose if I wanted to sell this and then uh, you can also see the equity curve which is actually building up here and uh, this flat line is showing you know the total amount of uh, total accumulated accumulated uh, profit and loss and this green line is actually shows the trade uh, you know within that trade so let's say suppose if I want to place another trade here uh, this is another 200 period moving average I guess we're a bit late uh, but let's say suppose if you picked up that trade um, then let's say suppose if I want to close this trade I can press a, an issue close here and then you can actually pause it and see you know individual trades and how it's working in that direction too and then let's say suppose if we continue playing this uh, let's see if we can get out of the bounce of uh, this 200 period yes I think this is about it let's just pick up there uh, another 200 period so now you see that there is a third trade which is also placed here uh, at a $332.93 um, of course you know you know ahead of it at the Google what happened but I just wanted to demonstrate how it works um, then uh, let's go ahead and see uh, um, I think it probably went up much higher but let's just I'm just gonna close it there the trade so that's a third trade and it's going to show you you know that's the profit and loss here uh, the total accumulated profit and loss and now it's let's say suppose if we do get another opportunity to trade about another 200 period moving average I'm just going to try that but I guess uh, we may or may not see it I think there's one more uh, here the crosshair is you can actually turn it off if you, do, if you don't want it to see the prices moving that side but you can also um, if you turn it on then it will actually show you the price of the day and you know um, the open high low closes of it and then this is a, this is the, the um, I guess the dark uh, red color is a, um, and this is the 200 period moving average and so that's the point is to show you that you know how the prices uh, bounce stuff of a 200 period moving average every time it did uh, it actually gave a, a kind of a buy and let's just suppose if you pick up here one more um, so now you can see the equity curve which is a, this is for the current trade um, how it's working and I think it I know that this price actually went up much higher so we're just gonna probably close it somewhere here um, and then now uh, we'll let it come back and I think now this is the current one now Google is giving another opportunity for it to I guess uh, come back and trading it uh, near the 200 period moving average too so here is the one which is it shows you the total of it if you were to do the same 200 period bounces uh, you know that's what is the total as I said it probably did go to $600 and then now it's coming back to this uh, 516 and I think that that's where the uh, 200 period moving average is and if you look at it uh, this is the total accumulated I guess a profit here we'll see it uh, right up on the top 
uh, that's about the price here what we have and so this is the last one here and I, I guess now it's coming and again bouncing back at 200 periods too so that's all is the trading right now